Well, conditions at a CrossFit cemetery have left many families questioning if they chose the right place to bury their loved ones. NBC 10's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke with one woman who says she's disappointed with what she sees as the cemetery's lack of maintenance. Samantha Sturgeon recently buried her great-grandmother at the Pinewood Memorial Cemetery in Crossit. When she came back a few days later to visit, something more caught her attention. I kind of got to looking around and saw where several headstones were completely covered by grass and dirt. Which looks something like what you see here. You can't even see the names on the stones. Sturgeon took her concerns to Facebook and learned she wasn't the only one with a problem. I started getting numerous inboxes. Um, people commenting, saying that this has been an ongoing issue for them for years, that they have reached out to Jones. I, in fact, reached out to Jones. And they told her it was simply a rain issue. That's not been taken care of in, in forever. That's Sturgeon admits there has been a lot of rain, but she believes it's more like neglect. I understand that sometimes you can't mow because of the rain, but these are people's loved ones, and they shouldn't come out here and see, not be able to see their headstones. All Sturgeon and others say they want is for their loved ones to be respected no matter how long they've been in the grave. Reporting in CrossFit, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, NBC10, your local news leader. Jones Funeral Home of CrossFit owns that cemetery. One man was working to lift the headstones today, but we could not reach the manager for a comment.